from, from my home state, from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana. There he is, the host of the Uncle Ducky show, Uncle Ducky. There he is. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from his farmhouse in Allen County, Indiana, the host of the Uncle Ducky Show, the one, the only, Uncle Ducky. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! As you can see, we're in the uh, farmyard. Right behind us is our barn. And... Uh, we're going to do a show out here. A lot of the ca the characters from the show, because of COVID-19, unfortunately, couldn't make it. So I thought we'd get together. We're going to have Jerry the Magician at the end of this broadcast. And we're just going to go around. I'm going to introduce everyone. And then uh, everyone will have their own little part. So starting on my right, all the way over, is Dak Jack Dajad, what the heck's your Des name? Jardins. Des Jardins. So make sure you, you um, yeah. yeah, toward that microphone. Des Jardins. Yes. Can you hear him okay, Norm? Yes. It's, it's, the weather's not bad out here, and you can see the blue skies. It's a nice cloudy day. <clears throat> and uh, to his left is Bob Jones. Hey, Uncle Ducky. Look at the camera. Hey, Uncle Ducky. <laughs> And he's a retired school teacher and, and a historian and uh, the head of um, Old Fort there on, uh, what's the name of that road? Spiron Avenue. Avenue. <laughs> and he's going to talk a little bit about the Erie Canal. And then to my left is Jody. Depoy. Depoy. Mm -hmm. And she plays the role of uh, Jody Extreme and also the voice of... Um, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to tell him that, right? Oh, well, okay. That's right. You're Jody Extreme. I'm Jody Extreme. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm Uncle Ducky, not Doug Wiley. Okay. And then uh, to her left is Bruce Hefner. Hefner. You got yes. Right. Yes. And he's he's the owner of Hefner Chevrolet here in Fort Wayne. <laughs> no, that's, that's one of those things I've asked about, but no, it's not. I know Bruce from the Comet Hockey game, and you mm -hmm. see he's got the orange, and, um, and he goes to every single game, <clears throat> and he's been on the show uh, probably four, four years. Not a lot, but uh, he does come on the show. So we're going to kind of go around the table and talk about what we do on the show. Jack happens to be a pickleball buddy of mine, Ooh. and uh, we play, uh, I've known Jack, what, five years anyway, <clears throat> and he's a mu musician. He was on our Christmas show. And um, so talk a little bit about what you do musically. Into well, that um, I yeah. am in a trio when we do acoustic, um, uh, classic rock and, and folk. And um, we have actually been on the Julia Meek show, which is in the, in the same studio. Uh, played around Fort Wayne here for a few years. And I also play at church a couple times a week. So I play guitar, lead guitar, and do a little bit of singing. Try not to sing too much. Uh, do some harmony. Okay, good. Um, and so uh, he was on our Christmas show and played a tune. It was great. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, to my right is um, Bob Jones. And he's going to talk about what he does. And we're based out of the library, so we promote the library, promote books. And uh, Bob's going to talk a little bit about the, um, the Irish coming to Fort Wayne, the immigrants. Hey, Uncle Ducky. Yes. Uh, I was surprised to learn that uh, Irish came, uh, let's see, the English settlement of Jamestown was about 1608. And about that same time, the Irish were coming, but they were in the Spanish colonies, what we call Florida today. Okay. A big surprise, I had, I had no idea. 
But uh, anytime you turn on the TV, you're going to hear about immigrants and immigration. And, and people that want to know what that is all about, if, if uh, it, it isn't just only a current event, it's, it's been happening uh, even long before there were colonies here in North America. But the, the public library, I love coming to the library. I'm a volunteer here. So I found a couple books uh, that, that uh, if you want to get uh, better informed on the, on the topic, uh, it's just as easy as coming here to uh, the library. Um, and of course, sometimes it's cast as a big problem, but uh, you know it has enriched our our society. Hey, if we didn't have um, uh, uh, immigration, no one in here would know what a taco was, or uh, or Polish sausage, or French fries. Uh, so the, it's a, it's a wonderful topic to get better informed on. But sp specifically uh, about here in Fort Wayne, one of the kind of cross connections. Uh, was the um, the development of the Wabash and Erie Canal, and the uh, the organizers of the canal sent agents to New York City, and as Irish immigrants were getting off the boat, they were there looking for them to hire on to help as laborers uh, to to help develop the Wabash and Erie Canal. That was cutting edge technology of a growing nation uh, to improve transportation that at the time was limited to our coastlines and navigable rivers. And uh, let's see, what was it? The Irish said, God made the rivers, the Irish made the canals. Oh. Of course, they were familiar with that. But one of the, the most fantastic stories that I read in uh, in this little book uh, about the Wabash and Erie Canal, and you should really get this because it had these great little stories. But the Irish brought bags of soil with them from Ireland. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One of the problems along the Wabash and Erie Canal was that rattlesnakes would come up out of the woods and sun themselves on the towpaths. You know, the canal boats didn't have sails. They didn't have oars. Uh, they weren't self-propelled. They were towed yep. along horses. the canals uh, by mules or horses, often driven by young boys called hoagies. And it was very dangerous for the young men there to, to, uh, to encounter uh, rattlesnakes. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the, the Irish gave them soil and they sprinkled the soil from Ireland along the towpath. Now, what else do we know about Ireland? St. Patrick did what? Drove all the Dro snakes drove out. Drove the snakes Ireland. out. Yes. Oh and so the gosh. Irish felt that by sprinkling some of the soil from their homeland, it would keep the rattlesnakes <laughs> off the towpath and make, make it safer for the young boys doing their job for the Wabash and Erie Canal. I just found that a, a fascinating little little story. It could have been forgotten, but somebody wrote it down and put it in these great books we have here at the Allen County Public Library. And there are so many more stories. Uh, one of them was uh, these agents for the company that was uh, digging the canal. Yeah. Uh, some of the, the, the men are resisting. You know, well, am I going to really be, make enough to... Uh, to make it worth my while and and the agent said we're going to give you 50 cents and plus feed you every day plus put a roof over your head give you give you uh, and, th and they said 50 cents why well, we're used to making 80 cents in ireland oh. and and they said oh yeah well explain they made in ireland as laborers they made 80 cents a week Oh. The operators of the Wabash and Erie Canal were going to give them 50 cents a day. Oh. Oh. That was a fortune to these men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of them came. Oh. And a lot of them came to Fort Wayne. Uh, the crews started here in Fort Wayne, and they worked to the east, and they worked to the west. Wow. So if you notice on the close-up shot of uh, Bob, his hair appears green. It's kind of a promotion for our March 26th show, because uh, he's going to talk about the Irish then. But as you can tell, we are on a green. Uh, let me be honest. We're on a we're on a green screen. Okay. 
<laughs> so, so well, I don't want people to think you have me. Grandma's hair, hair was blue, but I never. <laughs> right. But that's oh. interesting. Uh, and I met him at the Old Fort. And it's, it's quite an organization you have down there. So much to learn about where we're from. And he talked about the canal because of the, the traffic being stopped as Fort Wayne was a building uh, and, and, and those are main arteries, they made an elevation. And uh, I worked for the railroad and so we would call that the elevation. Otherwise, well, nowadays it'd be impossible to have that, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk to Jody. So are you Jody Extreme or Jody Boy? Both, actually. Right. So yeah. And her, and she'll explain her role on the show and how actually we met for her to be on the show. Well, my role on the show is playing Jody Extreme, which is sort of like a, a like a militant Barbie fitness instructor for kids, <laughs> and so. Yep, yep, uh, and I really enjoy that. It's one of my favorite things to do, and um, I not not only did I get to be on the show, but I asked to be on the show because I work at a restaurant here in town, and who should come in one day and was having having dinner or having appetizers than Uncle Ducky, and so they had scripts um, in their hands, and then they were going over. Um, uh, uh, lady that played Miss Manners um, was with her. Her name is... Julianne Julie Hyde. Yes, absolutely. And so um, I was waiting on them and I said, a script? Because I'm actually, um, I graduated with a degree in theater performance from Ball State. And so you can't be at my table and have a script. And I mean, like, I'm just going to dive right in there. And so we, we had a little bit of a discussion. And he's like, you don't want to be on my show. And I'm like, yeah, I really do. And so came down and we did um, the first segment. And I think it was something about a green pepper. Like how uh, something about a, a, the benefits of having a green pepper. Oh, you remember that. Okay. I do. I do remember that. And so... Yeah, the script is just a suggestion, but I remember that part. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, and so and that's how I got on the show. And then I, I brought our, our child, um, Sloan, <coughs> Sloane Extreme, um, was about two and a half at the time that she started. And she has um, uh, really just been a, a wealth of fun and sometimes, so I don't want to say frustration exactly, but sometimes sometimes challenging to have a small child on a show because sometimes when I come out, she just wander through the set or wander around behind. And um, I remember one time we were doing a similar activity like this when we were on Patty's page. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. we were on Patty's page talking to Patty Hunter, um, who plays uh, Mrs. Claus, C-L-A-U-S-E. And Sloan was about <laughs> six at the time. And as we were all taped up and, and we were all we were all mic'd up and, and doing our thing and she walked out the door. So I had to like to go excuse myself and go chase her down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but we've really we've really loved being on this show and we love just getting to promote, you know, fitness and, and health to kids and just reminding everybody to just, you know, that just being healthy is just being active and not just sitting and, and reading or just not sitting and watching a TV show or being on a computer or being on a, on a tablet. And that's a lot of the things that we talk about. Um, being active, going to great things like the Comets. Comets. Where, exactly. where we meet, yeah, where, yep, where <clears throat> Bruce does his little thing and we get to go out into the community like at Fright Night. That's one of the fun things mm -hmm. that we've done. Yeah. Busker Fest, really enjoyed that. Um, we've gone down to Three Rivers and done the... Um, kids yoga where she had a meltdown that was fun um we, we like, like see well, I, I wish i would have had actually the other footage of what you couldn't see because as we were talking about kids kids yoga and how good that is for kids my kids behind us freaking out so i mean yeah. all kinds of fun things mm -hmm. and what we'll do at post-production is uh, insert a picture of sloney on her um tablet and um, also, um, when she was, uh, she's in eighth grade now. Uh, had to have been about third grade. There's a nice still of that. We'll, we'll insert that on the show. She does two other characters also announced. We'll insert a still of that as Mrs. McHenry. 
if you want to explain Shh. that. Not, well, you know, um, I, I don't know that Jody Extreme, you know, I think she's friends with Mrs. McHenry. Oh, okay. I think she, I think she, um, so like, like. Because <laughs> we're pretending we're our characters, but it doesn't matter. Well, right. Kind of yeah. like you never see Uncle Ducky and Todd Allen in the same place at the same time. No, I mean, kind of like goodness. that. You never really see Jody Extreme and Mrs. McHenry or even Betty Forrester. Oh, or even, yeah, so Betty. Not, yeah, and Betty. Betty. She's coming back. Ooh, yeah. Ben, you know, Betty is Betty is a fan favorite because, I mean, like, you got to be a little leery of the pies sometimes. But, I mean, like, she's mm -hmm. she's definitely our, our, our favorite. Sh I mean, our, not our, our shyster, but our, our, our favorite. Our favorite. Um, um, Baker, yes. Baker, she she's the pies. yeah, she is the right. official baker of the yeah. Uncle Ducky show, yes. and she'll definitely you know over I mean like charge charge you fairly for pies. Yeah. So yes, so yeah, so just all the fun characters and kind of kind of Captain Kangaroo esque kind of right. or even the even um, um, Fred Rogers esque yeah. as they mm -hmm. move from scene to scene and character yeah. to character and yeah. and though but. And also, um, um, the guy out of Detroit, remember? Uh, Soupy Sales. But oh, those yeah. are talented people. Mm. Art, and I'm going to be Doug right now. Is that okay? Can I be Doug, Ron? Okay, thank you. Our show is a spoof <coughs> on itself. And so, Betty Forrester, we put a, um, a, a Photoshop, a picture of a lady from way, she's probably not even alive now. Um, and... Um, she is a swindler. Okay, she was kind, what she said, but she hustles pies, and so we have that. Lady Foster does not swindle pies. See, there you go, there's a voice. Yes. But the main thing is, and, and you know that, um, uh, if, if you don't know, the guy that's second to Ken Jennings on um, uh, Jeopardy, uh, he's, he made millions on that show. Didn't quite get up to where Ken Jennings was. And uh, one time Ken Jennings asked him where he gets most of his information. You know where he gets his information from? Children's books. Seriously. Mm -hmm. It's all about the d details. And on the show we're going to do in uh, April, we're going to have books on wolverines and badgers. We have a uh, PSA, but we'll hold that uh so, but uh, I find it fascinating reading about uh, Norm and I and uh, Jan went up to a um, uh, football game. It was the Wisconsin Badgers against the Wolverines of Michigan, and uh, that'll be on that show. But uh, there's so much, they're both Wolverines and Badgers are both from the, hi, John, how you doing? <laughs> from the weasel family so anyway mm -hmm. and after the show we'll be inserting mm -hmm. stills and i'll get a still of um the erie canal oh great of course they didn't have cameras in did they mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so the next person then we'll might go back we got to have um, a very dear friend of ours uh jerry the magician he's been on our show uh like five years um the neat thing about jerry is he was for 30, not yet, Jerry, for ah. 33 oh, years. Spot. Well, you can hold stand on, back. Hold on, Jerry, hold on. Yeah, you can sit back there. It doesn't matter. We got to talk to Bruce yet. I did learn how to take orders. <laughs> yes. And the reason why that is, he is a 33-year veteran in the United States Air Force. Mm -hmm. And he was a master sergeant, which is the highest in... in um, uh, what is, right. Yeah, sergeants mm -hmm. in the United States. But he's a, he's a magician, magician. And um, so he's going to do a magic trick for you. But uh, on the uh, second to my left is Bruce Hefner. And Bruce is a fixture of Fort Wayne Comets. They do this song, um, Jump Around, Jump Around. Jump Around, which jump. is, yeah, that was big, big time every, Yep. we did it a couple times every game. But now it's kind of retired. Yeah. It's somewhat retired. Semi-retired. Well, it's in that. Well, and we also do the the Cotton Eye Joe song. Oh. Don't forget Cotton Eye Joe, which we did a long version of it Saturday night, the past game. And you got out weekend. in the aisle, right? Right during the, I sit right on the edge of the, where's the platforms? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I just get up there and jump around. 
Nice. Yes. I do like that. So it's kind of a, it's a fun song to dance to, whatever. So I'm going to add, uh, uh, unfortunately, um, um, Steve um, um, Franke passed, but uh, we're going to go back. Mike Franke. Mike, I'm sorry. Michael Franke. Michael Franke back, okay. Um, and it'll be Jody, myself, uh, um, and uh, Norman Jan do some segments. And um, he's a very good friend of who just passed also this past year of Eddie Long. Eddie right? Long, yes. Oh, yes. Big, big time guy. And it was, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, Mr. Mr. Hockey. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely was, uh, you always see him just about every game. Mm -hmm. I believe it was 92 when he passed away. 92. Yeah, so he was definitely uh, getting up there, but he was always there. I mean, he was even skated on the ice occasionally just to get some exercise, I guess, so to speak. That's he was old, cool. But he was at yeah. the games big time. So yeah. uh, he was way up in the 600 sections mostly, way up there. So if you wanted to see him, you had to go up to mm -hmm. up 600 sections to visit him. Yes. And so, like I say, I'm, I'm, I, we're doing the show, but I'm also doing editing. In through right, my, we'll put a still of Eddie up there. Yeah, and uh, I think we have video of you dancing around when we were at oh, a game. Yeah. I think we took a video Super. of that. So, okay, well, that's good. It's so interesting. We have a historian. We have a, a buddy of mine, a pickleball buddy of mine that's a musician. We have a lady that's, uh, and I can say where it was, it was Cork and Cleaver. And oh, she's okay. one of the oldest servers there, a very fine restaurant. <laughs> and uh, we we joke about, we kid about how bad our show is, but we do have a purpose is to get kids to read books, become educated, and get moving. And do chores, too. Chores. Uh, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Don't bang on the table. Is that correct? Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. I am so no. sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Norm. <laughs> All right. So, I think the booth is death. Yes. So I'm going to get up, and I'm going to let Jerry take over in the middle, because we're down to probably six minutes. Six minutes. And I'm going to put the lava there. I want you to stay here, though. I want to talk oh. to you a little oh, bit, okay. too. Oh. I'll have you close enough where I can talk. Oh, okay. And I'll broadcast into that mic. All right. Can put the mic on? Can you hear me in there? Okay. Uh, this is a like an old Fred Astaire hat. Hmm. Remember that? Top hats. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Try that, Bob. You couldn't snap it. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pull it down to make it go, but yeah. you can snap oh, it. You See, the reason they had Ooh, hats wow. like that. Run, you wanna try it? The reason they had hats like this so is like. a lot of people wore suits and stuff, yeah. wow. and they could store their hats on the, on oh, the, hat on like their shelves a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's. I mean, it wasn't just a gag. wasn't just a the, gag. It was actually The, the well-dressed man would have a hat like that? Yeah. When he went to the concert or yes. the theater? The and theater. then he could, he could go like this and it all store together. See? Yes. I had Take no up idea. Less, that, that's the reason why they had him like that. Ooh. Is there a rabbit in there? It's snappy. You wanted to see a rabbit tonight, right? Uh, no rabbit in the hat. No rabbit in the hat? Okay, okay. So Bob wanted me to, to have a rabbit appear in the hat. Okay, so... Um, there's, uh oh, it's not a rabbit. It's a Wrong is hat. It a gadget? Is it I, you a know, gadget? The, the rabbit. The rabbit actually takes a size Ooh. seven, but oh. I have. I guess I got my kitty cat instead. Oh. Still the rabbit. Oh. Got the wrong hat tonight. Oh God! I, things seriously? happened in our show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. There so I, go. seriously, I got the wrong hat. But um, this is my kitty. He has one heck of a sense of humor. Yes. Sometimes he laughs a lot of my mistakes, <laughs> like. Getting the wrong hat, yes. but he's, he's a really good little. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, he's a happy kid. <laughs> there you go. Ah! Well, wow! Luckily, they I always land on their feet. That's one good thing about a kitty cat. <laughs> so how did you pull that out? Where that was that? Well, you don't tell me because you're a magician. <laughs> Where was it? It's a good idea. That's true. Yes. We uh, we pull things out from places you can't imagine. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so. Something called stealing the show. Right. <laughs> right. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Let's go now. No, no, no. No, I just keeps going. So I'll put him back in the hat where he belongs. But that, that's my kitty Sammy, okay? Okay. Sammy, yeah. See, now you met Sammy up there. Yes. Yeah, he's a pretty good little kitty. Yeah. He, 
didn't get the rabbit. <clears throat> Maybe another time I'll get the right hat. And mm -hmm. I'll, I guess it takes a size seven. This is only six and a half. Mm -hmm. That's why I got the wrong hat. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that's the trick we end and we're uh, going to close this. Yay! <laughs> <All right>. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. You should stay on the set if you want. Good job. Oh, yeah, dude. Sure. Well, you might as well. So we're gonna, we've are gonna. we got like four and a half minutes, so we're going to go around and uh, say a little something, every one of us, and that'll be our show for tonight. Jack? Well, uh, thank you, Ducky, for allowing me to be on the show. Mm -hmm. And he actually uh, wanted me to go on a while back when we were playing pickleball, and I was like, nervous and you know i didn't want to do it at first and then i thought man you know i ought to really try this and he asked me again so i did uh, a song here and i think i mentioned i was in a trio but i wanted to mention the name of the trio is the next gen jammers and we are on facebook so uh, nice. okay good yeah bob uh well, i think uncle ducky you and i met first at the old fort, old and, fort. and i yep. still have that selfie and uh Occasionally, I'm the I'm the baker. Uh, everybody else is busy doing things, and we have a brick oven. Mm -hmm. I've got to be there at five in the morning to light the fire because mm. it's not like a microwave. Throw it in, and you got right. bread in five minutes. It's a long process, but it's a uh, it's a hist it touches history, and uh, a lot of people are really into baking bread. Yes, that's great. And Jody, um, I I guess about I just want to say like one of my favorite parts of the show is that like nothing really works the way it's supposed to work. Like kind of like tonight. I mean like it's um we kind of had to punt with the weather, but I think it turns out perfectly because that's Perfect. kind of the because that's kind of the thing is that you know you know real life is like that. Like the best you know you can you can go with a script and, and a lot of times it doesn't work out. But that's my favorite thing about our show is that. It, it's perfectly unperfect. Very good. And Bruce? I'm right here. Uh, what <laughs> what you want me to say? I forgot my lines. So no. you look forward to uh, uh, coming, uh, uh, being there the night that, uh, and I might even ask Mr. Didier. Tom Didier has yeah. been on our show five times. Yes. His son Polly's been on it a couple of times. We're going to have Polly uh, this Christmas time mm -hmm. as the Grinch. He was the Grinch two years ago, and he's just a like, he's a beautiful child of Tom's. And um, so and Tom always, we do push ups. We did push ups and here. So, and we did the, yeah. yeah. But so I met you guys so. originally. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Um, be sure to catch the Uncle Lucky Show on YouTube. I've been watching it on YouTube. Yeah, you can see all of them. So it's um, it's really a good place to pick up the Uncle Lucky yeah. Show and my show. Yes. <laughs> so, show on commercial so we're out in the barnyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're having some fun. And uh, Jody will close our show. So thanks, everybody, for stopping, stopping by the farmhouse. Um, kids and everyone else, don't forget to go to your local library because, I mean, that's that's really so much good information can be found so many different things can be found at our local library and just don't forget to be kind to one another and kind to yourselves and have a great night bye everybody wave bye, everybody. wave guys yeah.